Hi, I'm Joanna Penn and this is Mystery Thriller TV. So today we're talking about what is a thriller anyway, because I think it's important that we recognise the type of books that we're going to talk about on this blog. So first of all, in a thriller we often see the perspective of the bad guy or the bad guys um, from the beginning. So we often see scenes written from their perspective and we know what's going to happen. So it's more about suspense than about mystery. So we almost know what's going to happen, the hero's got to stop it or the heroine um, has got to stop it, stop the bad thing happening. Often the stakes are very high as well. In thrillers, everything's sort of escalated. So it might be the end of the world or the end of the human race or, you know, lots of death, mass destruction, you know, big, big stakes usually. Um, it's not usually one person's life at stake, which it could often be in a mystery or one body in a mystery. In a thriller, it's often genocide or, you know, things are much bigger. It's more a sort of movie level book. So some of the really important things in thrillers are suspense and action and tension and excitement. It's a real emotional, visceral response to the writing. It should feel like a, an, an adventure ride in a, in a theme park or something like that. Um, and it should keep us on the edge of our seats. In a good thriller, you don't want to put it down. You want to know what's going to happen. Um, written you know, really well, it's a real page turner. So we have to also keep ratcheting up the pace and the stakes. So often things might start out, you know, with a little bit bad and then get worse and worse and worse. And uh, so it becomes an adventure for the hero. And things are often in a constricted time frame as well in order to add urgency and pace to the book. What I particularly love about thrillers is that sense of escapism. So I love action and adventure movies as well. When you go to the cinema and the world just fades away. And that to me is what a good thriller novel has to be. It's totally different to my real daily life and it takes me out of that and into this world of excitement and adventure and, uh, you know, a thrilling tale. There generally is death and body count in thrillers, um, but it doesn't go into the realm of horror. So there are some thrillers that are right on the edge of being, being horror, but generally the violence is more like the A-team, uh, where things explode and people get shot, but there's no real description of pain and, and yuck and gore. It's more sort of action and violence um, that has to happen because high stakes mean uh, people have to die generally. So um, yeah, death and body count is usually quite a big part of thrillers. There are also often fight scenes, chase scenes, um, you know, physical action scenes that are described in the book that both move the pace forward and the story forward, um, but also give us almost a visual view of what's happening to the main characters. And then for the main characters, there often is a sort of archetypal good versus evil or, you know, a, a villain who may be complex but is certainly on the side of, of evil and, and the hero. I guess there are more archetypes in a, in a thriller novel. Um, there almost isn't time in a fast-paced thriller to get into the real psychological aspects, although obviously there is the genre of psychological thriller itself. So I guess just talking about some of the different subgenres within thriller, um, we could be talking, you know, medical thrillers, um, religious thrillers, historical, political, romance thrillers. You could almost have a thriller book with everything else. I guess you could, um, you know, you can even have a sci-fi thriller or a, a zombie thriller these days. I quite like there to be some form of education in the novel. So for example, I quite like genetic stuff or tech thrillers where things I didn't know about uh, become interesting and are described as part of the story. So I learn something as well as experiencing that sort of emotional rush of the thriller. I personally particularly like religious thrillers, tech thrillers, medical thrillers, that type of thing. So that is a bit about what a thriller novel is. What do you think a thriller novel is? What have I missed? Please add a comment uh, to the video or on the blog and let me know. Thanks, I'm Joanna Penn from Mystery Thriller TV.